Welcome to the College Football Bros. I'm Michael Newman. And I'm Ryan Newman. Okay, so we covered USC in an episode a few days ago. They are, of course, the defending Pac-12 South champions. But uh, the South, of course, is very wide open this year. So our question for today is, is Arizona State or Utah the biggest threat to USC in the Pac-12 South? And apologies to UCLA, who should be very good this year as well. But um, we'll uh, we'll answer this question at the end of the episode. But first, let's let's go through each team, ASU and, and Utah. And we'll start with the Sun Devils. So, Ryan, what do you think of their offense? Well, so their offensive numbers were really good last year. Number one scoring offense in the conference, seventh in the country in rushing. Now they only played four games, and one of those games was against uh, Arizona, where they put up 70. Uh, yeah, pretty so that, easy defensive schedule they a they little faced. skewed yeah uh, you know and then Oregon State was another one where they where they went up against so but if you if you look at the two games against Cal I'm sorry against USC and UCLA they had two games against those teams they put up 45 combined so about 22 and a half against USC and UCLA defenses which were average right they weren't they're not great but they weren't bad so that's not that good right 20 that's 22 and a half points per game against those teams so it was it's a decent offense last year. It wasn't great. Um, they should be better this year though, because they return practically everybody. Jaden Daniels, of course, coming back for his third year. He's a really good quarterback, smart with the ball. I'd like to see maybe a little more explosive, but he's good. Um, experienced offensive line, um, a young wide receiver group got its feet wet last year. We'll see how much they can kind of. Uh, I don't know. The variance is pretty big with them. If they're good, it's just going to be a really good offense. If they kind of struggle. Offense might struggle a little bit, but overall, I do think it's a good offense. I think they'll be a little bit better than last year, um, and it's good enough to win you a Pac-12 uh, championship. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm. I would be excited about the offense if I was an ASU fan. I will say, each of the last two years, Arizona State's passing success rate has been tenth in the Pac-12. So I think if they're t- looking to take a step forward and and win that Pac-12 championship. Then Jaden Daniels, you know, not just hitting on on the deep ball, but having you know efficiency moving the chains um, down to down, I think would be a step to take. So we'll we'll see what happens there. But yeah, the receiving core, the young receiving core, taking that step forward that you would expect them to take this year, um, yeah, will be big. Um, but defensively, this is. Really, really good defense. Very yeah. talented and experienced. I think they have the best sec- secondary in the conference. Chase Lucas and Jack Jones, one of the best corner duos out there. Their front seven has a ton of experience. I'd look out for Tyler Johnson at defensive end. Could be yeah. kind of a breakout star in the Pac-12. He had five sacks last year in just four games. So um, there's, I, I think it's a top 20 defense nationally and you know maybe top 15. Yeah, I agree. It's gonna be a really good defense. Uh, I remember kind of when Herm first started, and we were kind of he was putting playing a bunch of true freshmen out on the defense, and a lot of those guys are still there. You got Merlin Robertson at linebacker and Darian Butler. Those two guys, I remember seeing them, and they're pretty good as true freshmen. You're like, wow, he's been there be forever. Good. It's crazy. Yeah, and so this is their fourth year, and they're they're good. Um, same thing with Jermaine Lowell. He's in his fourth year at defensive tackle. He's a really good player. They got talent at every level, multiple all-conference types of dudes, so there's no reason why this can't be arguably the best defense in the Pac-12, so uh, they're set. They really are. Okay. Um, How about their schedule? And if you're watching us on YouTube, we'll put that up on the screen. Uh, How do you think their their conference schedule sets up for them? Yeah, conference schedule, I mean, they avoid Oregon. Uh, So that's pretty nice. (laughs) They avoid Oregon from the north. Um, And the other big plus is they do draw... You know the team that the question we were originally asking is can they can they you know upset USC or threaten USC? They get USC at home, uh, so that's a, another big factor too. So um, I overall I think you got to be pretty happy with it if you're ASU. Yeah, I would agree. And five home games, four road games right. is always always nice in the Pac-12 schedule. Uh, moving on to Utah, the other team here challenging USC, which again. We already talked about USC earlier, earlier in the week, so that's why we're kind of pairing uh, ASU and Utah here. We understand that they're all kind of co-favorites, you know, yeah. realistically. Um, but as I said in our, our episode yesterday, Charlie Brewer, the transfer from Baylor, is the likely starting quarterback, and and he's kind of the X factor for me with with Utah's offense because 
you got the entire offensive line back. You got some some good weapons with Britton Covey at receiver, Brant Keithy, very explosive tight end, um, and some some talented running back transfers. So the missing piece is quarterback, and they might have solved that. They might have. They might have. Yeah, no, I like the offense. It's set up well. Um. Typical kind of Utah offense too, you know. They got they're gonna have the good ground and pound, strong, strong offensive line, smart quarterback, maybe not one that's gonna be a game changer. Um so it's kind of the the Tyler Huntley, I think so I think uh Brewer can kind of replace that pretty well. But let's move on to the defensive side of the ball. This is what I wanted to talk about. I love watching Utah's defense play. They're always good. Somehow they were really good last year, even though they practically lost everybody from 2019 including like three guys from the secondary to the nfl but they were still good um biggest win for utah was when devin lloyd middle linebacker decided to come back for for this coming season he was second team all-american just a stud linebacker overall eight returning starters so they're they're set um another uh, great linebacker nifai sewell he was honorable mention all back 12 so they're set there d line they're always tough and up stout on the d-line this year's going to be no no different yeah. and their secondary they had they were young last year so they got their feet wet clark phillips and to travis broughton should be two good corners now uh, coming in this year phillips was a high rated recruit um safety is a bit of a question mark you got vontae davis but other than him they're not quite sure um you're not quite sure what you're going to get but hey yeah i i, I have faith on that with utah on that side of the ball you know they're going to stop the run always the best in the conference at doing that so it should be a very, very good defense. Yeah, not much to add there. Morgan Scally with a bunch of returning starters. They're yeah. going to be good. Um, yeah. Let's get to their schedule. And also, it seems like all the best teams get this favorable schedule. They've got five yeah. home games, four road games in conference. Um, they do have to go on the road against USC. So there's a little, you know, if we're trying to answer our question here, a little disadvantage for for Utah. And they draw Oregon from the north, um, you know. But they do avoid you drawing. Wa- they avoid Washington, but you'd rather avoid Oregon slightly. Rather Oregon. Um, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, but uh, yeah, schedule wise, schedule wise, I would say slightly tougher than ASU, but not a big difference. Yeah, um, I, I, I agree with you. And they do get the other kind of Pac-12 South kind of co-wish favorite ASU at home. And then maybe the third team, UCLA, the the other squad, they get them at home as well. So that's there's really nothing you can be afraid of. And they get Oregon in Salt Lake, so there's no reason why they can't just go beat them there. So yeah. I think that could be a great opportunity for them, honestly, um, nationally too. But I, I think you got to like the schedule. They got, they got I like talking about non conference matchups. Of course, sure. they play BYU. Then they got at SDSU. So it's not like a a super tough non conference along with no. Weber State. Okay. Uh, well, let's answer the question. Uh, is Arizona State or Utah the biggest threat to USC in the South? I'm taking Utah. Uh, I, I really okay. like what they have coming back. Yeah. I mean, Utah won the South in 2018 and 2019. Um, you know, last year they went 3-2, and two, and what was supposed to be a little bit of a rebuilding year for them Um so now they should be really set to go with a ton of returning experience. They have a coaching staff that's done it before. They know how to get there. And, you know, I like ASU. I think they're going to be pretty good, too. Uh, you know, Herm Edwards has done a good job, but he's 500 so far in conference. Um, and I just haven't seen it from ASU at that level yet. Um, they Last time they won the division, I think, it was 2013, so under Todd Graham. So I, I'm just, I feel more confident in, in, a, in a more safer pick taken the Utes that have proven the pudding no that's you made some good points there and that's I was already close between ASU and Utah here I mean it's just almost yeah, too it's close tough. to call so yeah. you, just hearing you say that it's like oh maybe I should go Utah but <laughs> I I think ASU is the slightly um bigger threat and because when the teams are so close I I kind of lean towards schedule and the fact that they draw Washington rather than Oregon is a little advantage there. Um, and just, I mean, defensively, I feel like the two teams are pretty similar uh, in terms of, you know, of what I expect their, say, SP plus rank will right. be. But I think ASU on offense has a better quarterback if Jaden Daniels is at his best. And 
just better, I would say, well, I would say better running backs for sure. So, yeah, I'm I'll, splitting okay. hairs here. <laughs> you are. Sounds like it too. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you could. It's okay, Michael. You could pick Utah. Don't worry no, about it. No, I, I no, I do slightly <laughs> lean ASU. I'm sticking with All right. it. All right. Um, but that'll do it for this episode of the College Football Bros. Let us know in the comments below who you think is the bigger threat to USC, and just let us know who's your pick in the Pac-12 South. Yeah. We're going to get to that tomorrow, but uh, we want to want to see yours. Maybe it'll influence our opinion. Actually, it won't because we're recording this a little before. So <laughs> comment <laughs> away. It's not yeah. going to affect us. And we'll see you tomorrow to make our official Pac-12 picks. You've been watching the College Football Bros. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and in your podcast app for college football content all year round. For bonus episodes and access to our Discord chat, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash collegefootballbros. Thanks for watching.